here is yet another request that I've had and this one is for Descent OS and we are going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. I get so many requests for different Linux distributions and this is one that really pleases me and this might please a number of you people. Now this we're looking at Descent OS and uh, I'll have a link to their uh, to their website in the show notes. This is a totally free operating system that you can download and install on your computer. And one thing that's very pleasing to the Linux community is this is a fairly up to date Linux distribution that uses GNOME 2. So if you absolutely don't like Mate, or if you don't like the new uh, GNOME 3, and that sort of thing, this is the distribution you might want to consider using. This is based on Natty Narwhal 1110. And uh, something else, uh, I kind of hope they're going to follow the same vein when they do release their 1204 release. I don't know when they are going to do it. Okay, so basically, this doesn't bring much to the Linux table other than the fact that it is an up-to-date distribution running GNOME 2. You do have Docky here on the sides here. You can uh, show your desktop here and just a standard complement of things that you would have here. This has the Gwake terminal, by far my favorite terminal emulator. And by pressing a uh, hotkey, you have a drop-down terminal. And you can see I have mine set up here and I've got mine pimped out pretty good. So it's highly customizable. And um, what makes this really different is, well, if you like the lenses in Unity, but you still want to have GNOME 2, you get the best of both worlds with this one. If you'll look in the upper left, you'll see there's this button that says Apps, which, of course, you can change the graphic to anything you want uh, just by right-clicking on it and selecting Properties. And when you click on this little uh, graphic here, you can select a PNG file that's to your liking. But um, wait till you see this. You click on it, and it's like a Unity lens that gives you access to all of your programs. How cool is that? And I didn't even know about this program. It's called Slingshot, and I'm going to see if I can actually download this and use it in Arch. I like this menu system. This is magnificent, especially, um, but I'll definitely want to check and make sure that it is customizable. I also like the colors and everything in this too. Very, very, very nice. So these are all the applications. If you want to see all the applications that comes pre-included included with this, uh, you can just go ahead and pause the video because I'm going to go over all of them, but you have a number of uh, internet tools right here. You get the LibreOffice suite. You get the GIMP and Shotwell. You have a few sound and video applications. Nothing too fancy, nothing too overloaded. Mahjong and Mines. And then you have uh, a number of accessories as well here. All in all, this looks like a good Linux distribution. Would I recommend this to beginners? Absolutely. Uh, this is an Ubuntu-based distribution. And because of that, you can find support using uh, Ubuntu's forums should you run into any difficulties and that sort of thing. I'm liking what I see here. Thank you, all of you who suggested this one. And now, time for me to move on to some more of your requests. Thanks for watching. Thank you.